Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host, Ugo, and today I'm going to be smoking the Cadwell 15 Minutes of Fame in a 7 by 40 Lancero format. And this cigar is comprised of a Dominican Habano wrapper over Sumatra binder over Dominican and Honduran fillers. Um, a couple fun facts about this cigar. It was released previously in the middle of the pandemic as the Cookie Monster. However, as you can imagine, the public and the cigar industry wasn't very happy with the cigar named after a children's character, correct? That release was done through Privada Cigar Club. Now it's being released through Cowbell itself. The factory where it's produced is undisclosed. And also, Cadwell is donating or probably already donated up to 5,000 meals to an undisclosed food bank, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, as far as my previous experience with Cadwell, I did have the Paradise Lost um, at the end of last year, and I believe I rated that cigar a five pack worthy. It was a pretty good uh, short Robusto stick. So uh, let's take a look, a closer look at this uh, wrapper. So it's a nice caramel color wrapper with some prominent veins running through it. The band is nice and basic with just a white lettering there. The band is a little bit resembling of the um, original Cookie Monster band. Um, th there we have the uh, Cadwell Crest. And there's a, there's a little tear right there. And up here, I'm not sure if it was from the band. The band has a little bit of give, but yeah, that's not going anywhere nice pack foot nice single cap all right I'm gonna be using my punch cut for this one because it's a Lancero there it goes cracked a little bit but that's fine Okay, the cold draw, and now for the foot. Cold draw is giving me grassy notes. Uh, the foot, a little bit of a floral note, and overall, just a sweet tobacco note. All right, let's go ahead and light it up. All right, um, so right away, the retro hail is very smooth. It's like not stinging in a sinus at all. There's like a um, little bit of a bitter and sweet note on the palate itself. The dry itself is uh, it's very open. There's almost little to no resistance. The uh, the smoke is is almost embalming my the inside of my mouth. It's very creamy, very um, abundant smoke. It looks like that bitter note might turn into like a coffee note and the sweet note somewhat of a, of a caramel note. There's some pepper coming into the profile now as well. 
on the palette and just minor on the uh, retro hill itself. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, smoke it down uh, to the first third and I'll be back for my first update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the first third of this 15 minutes of fame. As you can see, the ash is nice and white and stacked with some horizontal black layers of ash. There is a little peak there on the burn line. Other than that, it's burning pretty straight and still getting lots of smoke. There's a little bit more presence of pepper on the retro hill. However, it's not that much. It's, I would say, anywhere between a one and a two out of 10. So it's very tolerable. On the retro hill itself, I'm getting grassy and very botanical underlying tones. On the palette itself, just alternating notes of caramel, cedar, and coffee, with pepper being the main and dominant note, um, but just writing kind of like in the background. So uh, you can feel it a little bit on your lips, but it's not that much. Actually, the burn line is uh, self-correcting now. So yeah, I mean, overall, it's a very pleasant uh, cigar. Uh, very enjoyable, not harsh at all. I would say medium strength and full body because all these uh, notes are just like attacking your palate. Uh, the finish is nice and long. So yeah, that's all I have uh, for this first third. Let me keep smoking this down past the second third and I'll be back for my second update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the second third of this 15 minutes of fame. As you can see, the bird line self-corrected beautifully. It is pretty much razor sharp. The ash is still nice and white and stacked. And I'm still getting lots of smoke. Retro hail calmed down a lot. It's back to how it was at the beginning, like almost zero stinging on the sinus. As far as notes on the retro hail, now the pepper is coming through the retro um, in the underlying tone as well as a citrus note. Uh, the palette itself, uh, not, not a lot going on, just pretty much dark chocolate and a musky earth tone. So yeah, it's uh, simmered down a little bit on the second third. Um, another fun fact that I forgot to mention is that only 750 bundles of 20 were produced for this limited production stick. So um, yeah, if you're uh, curious about this one, go ahead and grab some before they sell out. Um, so let me keep smoking this down out of the way as far as I can and I'll be back for my last update and closing thoughts on this 15 minutes of fame Lancero. Welcome back. I'm at the end of this 15 minutes of fame. As you can see, the burn line is still razor sharp. The ash is still nice and white and stacked with the uh, black stripes, almost resembling that of a zebra, huh? And still getting lots of smoke. By the way, here at the end, now the smoke is getting a little bit hot on the lips. Um, definitely now, the Habano wrapper is making its presence. It's turned into a very dark profile now with pepper spices as a main note on the palate. Also rich, dark espresso. And a sweet note I can only describe as that taste you get after biting a perfectly melted and toasted s'more. On the retrohale, the pepper is also making a presence um along with charred wood and a lingering note of citrus that was acquired in the second third yeah overall it's a very enjoyable stick um the price point on this cigar is anywhere from seven to eight dollars um it's available in a single five pack and a box i've seen retailers offer this box for as low as 125 dollars 
um, if you can find it. Um, so yeah, so for that, I'm gonna rate this cigar box worthy. Uh, definitely, it's a no brainer. It's been burning for about an hour and 10 minutes. Not bad for uh, Lancero. But yeah, that's all I have uh, on this new release of this 15 minutes of fame. If you've smoked this cigar before, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts on it. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please hit the like button as it's going to help the channel out a lot. Um, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.